I am the New World Order, living off the backs of others and fucking the planet over for a buck. You are the New World Order, manifesting your desire to be ruled like gimps and cat-like pets. The poop is not a lying Nazi scumbag propping up global medieval voodoo. In the UK, all politicians are greedy thieving pigs with their snouts in the trough. Hello, magical beans. Welcome to the fucking news. I'm codependent. Here are the headlines tonight. Who is the New World Order? Where are they? What are they doing now? Who are they doing it to? And who's helping? Shit, it's me. I'm the New World Order. My diet of supermarket shopping, my lifestyle of electricity bills and internal combustion, my phone bill, my cheap clothes from the Far East, my salads flown across the globe from third world countries, my tea, my coffee, my internet connection allowing me to whinge about surveillance and oppression Whoa. while I drink a cup of peasant in the field, spread my unsustainable cash crop jam on my giant wheat farm bread. Yes, it's me. Here I am, fucking up the atmosphere with my poison-spewing, earth-trashing electricity. Here's me in my cancer-spreading chemtrail device. Here's my ensure the tyranny of economic slaves in China laptop. Here's my New World Order membership card. <laughs> Welcome at millions of slavery outlets all over Earth. Yes, I am the New World Order. My power and influence extends over the earth like a sick shadow darkening the lives of all it touches and blighting the glory of existence that was a human birthright. But I'm sick of hearing about the New World Order and its many guises. It's satanic! Whoa! It's communist! It's capitalist! It's eugenic! It's alien! It's gonna get you, gonna get you, already got your number! It's gonna take away your freedom and your way of life! Your freedom to pay your bills, and a way of life dependent on the suffering of others. Nice. You are the New World Order. And all the people who think if JFK were president again, everything would be great. He was so good and handsome. If only we had better masters, uh, leaders, we could all relax and go back to shopping and watching sport on TV. <laughs> Not gonna fucking happen. You are the New World Order. Your lack of self-sufficiency is the New World Order. Your religion, your country, your money, your trainers, your last burger, the last coke you drank, petrol, diesel, air conditioning, magazines and newspapers. We're all the New World Order, people. And baby, if you don't like it, go get a teepee and live outdoors. Bread, it's the New World Order. Bread, you didn't bake. Bread, you didn't make with wheat. You didn't grow. Your garbage is the New World Order. Garbage you don't dispose of. Take a look next time they collect it. You'll see your keepers come to clean out your cage. Oh, the New World Order. It's a new evil, totally separate from my disgusting lifestyle of consumerism and exploitation of others. Oh, the New World Order. It's something to fear and resist with guns and bumper stickers. Oh, let's wake the sheeple up and march to Sodom demanding change. It's for our benefit, because we want better lives. Yes, better lives uh, and stuff. Uh, and more freedom to uh, jet ski and uh, we want jobs and houses and electricity bills and cars and uh, freedom for us freedom uh, to freedom for us but back to the fields for those coffee picking peasants and back to the factories for the chinese slaves and back down the mines for those russian children cuz we want to be free and we want to have a good time and we want to get loaded and we want to have a party yeah baby so let's go I just had the weirdest dream. The holy poop of Rome is on a tour of the Middle East to see for himself the oppression of one bunch of humans by another bunch of humans in the name of God. There has been controversy over his visit with some Israelis questioning the Pope's credentials, sorry, the Pope's credentials, as a murdering, lying scumbag promoting voodoo mumbo jumbo to poorly educated peasant populations and their children. Some Israelis did not say, well, the poop. He can't teach us anything about murder, lies, torture, or the maltreatment of an entire people. We are the shiznit when it comes to that. Just look at our record with the sand peasants of Palestine. We be killing them, locking them up, bombing the women and children. Our nah, God's really down with it, man. He's hot for that. I mean, he loves it big time. And our God would go further if it wasn't for the namby-pamby liberal media pointing out what a bunch of murdering evil fucks we are. The poop can't touch this. Do, 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 can't touch this. In response, the poop's staff released a strongly worded statement defending his spiritual qualifications and not saying, The poop is an evil motherfucker. 
He is the head of an organization that has killed so many humans we lost account. We have suppressed and exploited humanity for over a thousand years, and just because you Jews have been going longer than us, that don't mean nothing. Our record of deception, torture, child rape, and genocide to speak so for itself. And we will not let some pissant religion with only a few million followers lecture us about the evil. Sure, the poop wasn't a volunteer at the Hitler Youth. He was pressed into service. But that does not diminish his enthusiasm for its credo. Be like us or suffer forever. To this day, the Pope is spreading the message of fascism and tyranny. Anyone not like us who doesn't believe what we believe is evil and deserves all the suffering our blessed mumbo jumbo God can inflict upon them. Amen. The Pope will conduct a mass at Nazareth on his tour where he's expected to piss on the Israelis and Palestinians and do shit for peace. I mean, bless the Palestinians and Israelis and wish for peace. In the UK, national media has embarked on a campaign to find someone who didn't already know our MPs were greedy, picky-nosed, trough-snorting bastards. Up to their necks and sleeves, and only in it for what they can get. The search came after the publishing of MPs' expense claims provoked no public anger, no large-scale demonstrations, nothing much at all. In fact, no one was surprised, and no one's opinion of politicians was altered by the revelation that they are thieving slime with their fingers in the till. The Prime Minister has called for urgent action to seek out someone in the country who didn't already know what a bunch of trough-snorting fat cat wankers our MPs are. Not saying, oh, oh, it is, a, it is a source of great shame and embarrassment to us that none of you are shocked by our filthy, greedy, lying, robbing behaviour. Couldn't some of you pretend to be shocked just to put a veneer of respectability on our pretense that this is a terrible shock? Uh, would some of you please complain that your opinion of politicians has been terribly affected and that only some radical shake-up will restore your faith in us? Uh, then we can get back to being piggy, trough snorting fuckers by hiding it from you so as to keep up the illusion that you think we're respectable in any way at all. Thanks, and tell the weather. Delusional mass masturbation will continue for some time until practical reality imposes undeniable consequences upon the current life forms of Earth. Reality adjustments spreading in from the West with a chance of epiphany, but only for a few. Have a nice weekend. Fucking News 2009 Season 1 now available on widescreen high quality DVD.